several senior government officials, including the Prime Minister Robin Nabanja, ministers and members of parliament, have been implicated in a scandal where iron sheets meant for the disarmament program in Karamoja region ended up in the homes of individuals hundreds of miles away from the deprived region. The government chief whip Dennis Hampson Obua is among the officials implicated in the iron sheet scandal. However, he says the officials have no case to answer, much as many members of the public have called for their prosecution. But you are told that you have some donation here, and there is a need in your constituency, and you pick these properties clearly marked and leveled office of the prime minister and I deliver them to six government schools in a jury county. What is my offense under the laws of Uganda? Because an offense must be hankered on the law and each and every offense has what they call ingredients. The scandal has seen some members of parliament especially from Karamoja region, call for the censure and resignation of the Minister for Karamoja Affairs, Dr. Mary Goret Chitutu, who has since apologized for the bonanza, saying that she may not have received proper guidance. President Yoram Museveni has since called for the deeper investigation, and the chief whip says that he is ready to appear before the investigation body to testify. We, we are going to interact with all concerned personalities uh, to ensure an expeditious investigation. Why don't we respect that process? Allow the ministers in question go and participate in the investigations. The investigating authority will determine who is culpable and who is not culpable. Who is a suspect and who is a witness basing on the facts and evidence adduced during the process of investigation? Obua made the remarks during an interaction with journalists who report at Parliament. He says everyone is innocent until proven guilty and called for the respect of the Constitution because investigations will bring out the truth. Principle number one is the presumption of innocence. It is here in this constitution. Principle number two, which is non-derogable, is the right to a fair hearing. But we are seemingly adopting a system where you are guilty as alleged. I believe after investigations, you will see the action that will be taken. However, the Speaker of Parliament, Anita Anit Among, took a drastic decision to buy and repress the iron sheets that she received and had used. State Minister for Finance in charge of planning, Amos Rugolobi, reportedly removed the so-called evil iron sheets from his village goat shed in Kayunga district. Some members of the public have applauded the gesture and others scorned it. But it is yet to be seen whether these officials will be exonerated by the investigations.